Hi everybody, welcome or welcome back to JT Budgets. Um, we have got a video today and I've got a little helper with me. So Daisy is sitting next to me and she has been dying to be in the action and um, watching one of the videos live instead of watching it on YouTube. So I said she can stay in the room today as long as she doesn't make too much noise and she helps me a little bit. So we haven't worked out whether she's just going to roll the dice for me or I, d I don't know. I don't know. But let's see what we can come up with. Um, so today we are cash stuffing for week two of January and emptying my purse for week one. Um, it's been a bit of a spendy week. Um, we've been finishing the bedroom, so um, which really wasn't planned. So we have got a huge amount to stuff this week um, compared to what I was planning on stuffing. So anyway, let's stop waffling. Um, Daisy, say hi. A bit louder? Go on. <laughs> She's such a giggly little girl. So you probably won't get many words out of her, but you'll hear her giggling. Won't you, Daisy? Yeah. Yeah. So let's see what's left in um, the Saffiano. So this is a Filofax Saffiano and I got my envelopes made by the lovely Gemma at um, Balance in the Budget. Um, oh, and I got this. Daisy, where did I actually buy this? Yeah, I think I bought this from Home Bargains, but I don't actually... Oh, yeah, TJ Morris is normally Home Bargains. Oh, that might annoy people with um, earphones. But I needed something to put my change in. So um, <laughs> I think I actually have one whole penny from my spends. Great. Um, there's still a little bit on the Tesco's voucher for Top Up Shop, so I'll just leave that there. Then we have fuel. There's £10 left on for fuel that we didn't spend. Uh, let's pop it over here for a minute and get rid of that money. Um, household has been obliterated, always does, so there's not much in there. Some 50p's for the 50p challenge though. And the just in case, which is my miscellaneous, basically has got a little bit of money. So let's do a little count up. We haven't got anything else in there. And I haven't had a Cafe Nero yet either, which is actually sad times. So let's get rid of um, what was in my purse and then um, I'll see how long the video is and we might actually do two separate videos. So there's £15 in cash, in notes, sorry, and then £2, 350p's, yep, 350p's, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1. 120, 130, 140, 150. Oh wow, £1.60. So there's £1.60 that's going to go in the um, the big Coke bottle. So I'll just pop that to the side and I think it's in here. Yep. So we will mark off £1.60 from here. Are you following what I'm doing, Daisy? No? Is it all a bit confusing? Don't know. 62 is gone and that leaves me with 35p, which I can mark off. So that's that. And then the 50p challenge is here. I have ordered a new one. Um, I can't remember who from now, but it was really bright. And you know I like bright challenges i love my pastel binders but i really like bright challenges so there's 350p's going in there and then what i'm going to do with the 50p's is what i did last year um well what i intended on doing last year was when i get to the 25 pound um uh, uh, denominations i'm going to pop it on a sainsbury's um christmas gift card um and then that will help with um christmas shopping so I'm going to put my £5 in here, I've only got a fiver, and then I've got £10. So let's have a look and see what we can do. So I've added in the Sudoku roll because I managed to get a dice. Um, I was sent a dice with it, but I lost it. So I went and got these ones from Amazon. They are so pretty. I don't even know if you can like actually see how pretty they are, but they came with like a load of them but this is the one that I need for the um Sudoku roll 
Um, I've got £10. I might put it in Sweet Sprinkles. So, let's cross off the next £10. Perfect. Pop that over there because I don't need that anymore. And pop the tenner in. That is such a rank £10. Don't you just hate it when you get dirty money that's been crinkled up? Okay. Oh, I got two pounds there. What should I do with that? Is there two pounds on the budgeting bear? I think there is. Yeah, it's the next one on the line, actually. So, pop that in there. Which is this one. The bingo. I'm not going to count the challenges as I, as I put, put money in them. Um, when I do leftover money. But I probably will when I do my cash stuffing. Oh, sorry about that. Don't get too seasick. Okay. Right, how long's that? Six minutes. Should we do a quick... I think we'll leave it there and we'll do the cash stuffing in the next video. Because um... Oh, actually, do you know what? I'll do some happy mail in this one and then do cash stuffing. So, I have got a load of happy mail. Um... I've actually got more than this. I just, I just need to like introduce it gradually. So um, I've signed up for Dingley Designs monthly um, challenge. So and this one is Let's Toast to the New Year, which is brilliant. I absolutely love it. Um, and I'm having something special made uh, by Dilly Dally Budgets for um, this one. So um, I don't know whether I'm going to be doing this in January. It depends when I get. Um, the zipper envelope that she's making for me so um yeah so I've got that one um I then got the France one I can't remember who I got this from now um but Daisy really really wants to go to Paris don't you Daisy yeah so um I thought we'd start saving to go to Paris um probably won't be a trip this year but if we start saving this year then it'll be a definite for next year and then Jen from Budgets and Dreams has made me these because oh they are just they're just gorgeous so this is the 250 pound freedom challenge that she does so each envelope has got an individual amount of money that you pop in the envelope and once this is full you save 250 pounds which is awesome um we had to get a tumble dryer last year um, and we put it on an Argus card. So there's £500 left of that, or maybe 400 one of them, four or £500. So I'm going to use that to pay off the tumble dryer. And then on Christmas Eve, I went and booked a holiday because that's what I like to do and that's what I'm good at. So we are going to Egypt for 10 days in June and um, the holiday costs £3,500. So I'm using this tracker to pay that off so I have paid off quite a large chunk already um, but I need to double check that so I'm not going to update the tracker or anything yet and then this one is so beautiful as well this is for the holiday spending money and our aim is to save £1,500 because I am sure that Egypt do genuine fakes just like Turkey so these are from Jen at Budgeted Budgets and Dreams and I will link her down below but I feel like I'm talking loads and then look at this beauty. I have been after one of these for bloody ages, literally ages. So originally this was going to be, and it probably still is going to be, my savings so that I can get two executive season tickets for Man United for a whole year for two people. Now I know this seems like quite a lot of money for one year's worth of football, um, but it's what I really love to do and I know we're not playing very well at the minute but they're my team and you know um but this is probably gonna take maybe four or five years to um to do so I'm aiming to do this for my 40th birthday and then I will have the tickets because the children will then be old enough that we can leave them for like a night or something. So, um, yeah, so that's the plan with that one. So this is going to be super, super slow, um, especially because we have got 
the holiday to pay for. Um, and, oh my God, OMG, completely forgot this one as well. So, Esther and Zoe at the Canny Tally. So, My Money Matters and the Canny Tally went and created this. And this started off my spending on Etsy. So, thank you very much, girls. But how banging is this challenge? So, you've got the envelope, which is lush. Look at all those colours. And then you've got a map of the UK and then it... So basically what I'll be asking you to do is write down the first two letters of your postcode. Now, don't put your full postcode in. I I went to do that when, when I commented on um, on Zoe's video. Um, just put the first two letters or even there's some with one letter actually. Um, and... I'll then colour it in and I will see like where my followers are. So um, I love, I love, love this idea. Um, and it's my first like A4 challenge. So yeah, so we've got that one too. Right. Okay, let's leave that there now. And then we, I will um, upload a cash stuffing for you tomorrow. So I'll see you later, guys. Daisy, do you want to say goodbye? Bye. Bye. <laughs> love you lots. Bye.